All right, YouTube, another one of Kip's clips. Sorry about that. I thought there was the introduction was meant to be a bit longer, but obviously not. I thought it selected the wrong file. So welcome to see through the fear on Friday. Hopefully you have all joined it. So it's kind of hard to ignore what's been happening. Um, the last couple of days worldwide. I mean, it's you've, you've not got time to digest one event, <laughs> and uh, you've not got time to digest one event before the next one's happening. And it seems to be this constant. Boom, 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 boom. It's not Sweden getting hot with more trucks. It's what's happening in Syria. Then okay, it's happening in the South China Sea. Trump's meeting with Xi Jinping. <laughs> it's all really kicking off. But um, is it any surprise? Is it any surprise? Tonight I was going to call this, is there a second awakening happening? Um, just with... I, I, what I feel, I see a lot of people now starting to ask the same questions of the alternative media that we have rightly so asked about the mainstream media for some time now. Um, and, let's see if this is all working okay, seems to be. Um, <coughs> so, what we're witnessing, well, what Trump um, has managed to do is manufacture so much consent using the alternative media to get himself elected, and now he's throwing that alternative media to the dogs as he carries out uh, the overall agenda. So, World War Trump has begun. Um, was there any question that people people thought he was going to be the peace president? Were, were people really that naive? Uh, I mean, um, people thought Bush was going to be the answer. Lied to. People thought um, Obama was going to be the, the answer. Lied to. Trump was going to be the answer, lied to. Can you see the pattern yet? We have it over here as well when we get offered up our new face every four or five years. Um, from Blair to Major, Faith Thatcher, Gordon Brown, um, David Cameron, and now we've got Bobo Johnston. Although people would say it's Theresa May, I think it's Bobo Johnston that's the real power. Um, he just understood it was going to be a... a, a a change in time in politics and didn't want to put himself directly in the crosshairs, but he's sitting in the background pulling a lot of strings, I would imagine. Um, but World War Trump is here. Um, he's he's um, he's let down a lot of people um, who he happily manufactured their consent through playing on the insecurities that have been heightened in everybody Rightly so, with the corruption and stuff that's out there, but then you can see it's part of a coordinated campaign to actually change the political landscape, not only in America, but worldwide forever. Um, and now, now the, only, the, the only positive I can see coming out of all this is hopefully now there will be some form of maybe a second awakening in the sense that people will now start asking and applying the same rules that we do to the mainstream media, to the alternative media, um, applying the same scepticism to the uh, al the so-called alternative, uh, independent media, sponsored by David Icke, um, the, the, um, apply the same rules to the alternative media that we have done the TV, the newspapers and the established press for some time now. Um, and again, it's the truth, the, the truth lies in your own discernment. Anybody that's out there trying to inject into you or not the truth, I don't know, be as sceptical about them as you are about the BBC. But anyway, just before I bounce into the room, there's a Martin Days, Cookie and Blazing are in. Got you guys in one a wee second. I'm going to just bounce uh, quickly into the chat room if I can push the right uh, button. And I'll say hi to everybody in the chat. Uh, there's Lulu, how you doing? Otto, Jamesy boy, how you doing mate? Scottish Ross, Christopher Spears, Kendall's in as well. Remember guys, the link is below. Uh, let me see if I can find Does anybody want to join in the chat tonight. Uh, because there's so many things to discuss. <laughs> a million and one things to discuss about what's happening just now. So uh, even if you want to um, take the subject elsewhere, feel free to join and bring up any anything you feel like. Uh, committed Escaper, how you doing? Blazing, Otto, Jamesy Boy, Lulu, in the evening one and all. Cookie was in from the start as well. Kendall, Jamesy Boy. Uh, and uh, D, Dwok, how you doing? Christopher Spears. 
thanks everybody for joining if you do appreciate see through the fear porn friday uh, feel free to uh, stick a wee thumbs up it is much appreciated and all the links below for the backup channel twitter facebook a community page where you'll get the majority uh, if, when I've got time. Hopefully other members of the group will share all the other hangouts as well. Monday to Friday, News Rant, Six Bells with Days. Um, uh, aye, Monday to Friday, Six Bells. Uh, Monday you get Solar Scalibur with Cookie. Tuesday you get... Uh, not, <laughs> fucking forgetting my own shit. Not the Infowars Nightly News. Wednesday's Reality Chat. Thursday is Steve Turgusi's Meeting the Minds. Friday is See Through the Fear Porn Friday. Um, Saturday is Steve's Mystery Show. And Friday is the Idiocracy University. So they will all be shared on the community page if you want to go and check all that out. And there's my two channels there for the live and the backup channel as well. And feel free to use the Patreon and PayPal buttons if you want to support any of the bullcrap I do. They are below. Help me out with some hookers and blow. <laughs> okay, Quissy Giff, how you doing, my man? I seen your video the other day. Good stuff, my man. Jamesy Boy, Ali McDonald, how he's all doing, guys and girls. Thanks everybody for um uh, joining. Uh, now let's go back into the hangout. Um now before we go down the Trump train route and try a, a, and look at what's happening here, um a bear in mind that they do rule you by fear and discontentment and make you feel disillusioned and disconnected and stuff. So this this bullcrap that's going on, do not let it bury your head in the sand, man. Like, do, I don't know, this is the way I try and approach it. Look at the positives that are coming out of this shit. I mean, it's it's mental. I know it's mental. I mean, what's positives have you got when they're firing 59 fucking Tomahawk missiles into your country? But the positives are the veil is slipping from a lot of the alternative, independent, sponsored by David Icke media. Um, which will allow people to see a lot clearer, in my humble opinion. The, 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 the second awakening or realisation that the internet is as highly controlled and propagandised as the mainstream media. And um, again, propaganda only works when you understand it's not propaganda. Uh, the whole Truffer Industrial Complex has turned themselves to shreds about this. A few of them are... Um, a few of them are trying to distance themselves from Alex Jones. Alex Jones is coming out and explaining how he's right, even when he's wrong, and Trump's still a good guy, but you don't know about the military-industrial complex and the globalists! All these unnamed fucking boogeyman entities which they constantly fucking talk about when there's real men, <laughs> real names involved in all this. And rather than just throwing out all these memes and teams to try and uh, buy your loyalty, um, it's about time uh, people realise the alternative media merry-go-round. I mean, there are, ge um, I believe there's genuine solutions to this, right? And the solution to the democracy scam, right? The democracy scam manufactures your consent, which puts your name on the bombs that are getting dropped. Go and ask any politician. They govern and police uh, uh, by consent. If you withdraw that consent, if they want to govern you and police you, then the democracy scam is going to have to decloak uh, and show that it's an actual dictatorship. They, 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 they do not listen to the citizens. We are nothing but cattle. Um, so, I don't know, but one of the... A, a, a positive place to get to would be demonstrating to the world, the, 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 your community, your local area, your country, whatever fucking group you want to put yourself in, is that it is all a scam and they're manufacturing your consent and they don't listen to you. So if you manage to withdraw your consent, the dictators are going to have to show themselves up as the dictators they are. Uh, uh, and then the, the support of the people ain't going to be with the dictators. I mean, because the dictators put on a mask of fucking authority and a mask of goodness and a wee halo and shit, doesn't mean that they're good, they're still slave masters in any forum. Now, when I'm talking about um, the democracy will always rely on the consent of the governed and the police and all that as well, that's how they rule you, that's how they govern you. Withdraw your consent, they manufacture your consent through their polling stations. Right? Why do you think when you don't bother your arse to vote, the fucking council's always pestering you, you better vote, put your name down, we want you on this voting list. 
They are manufacturing your consent. If we had more people not voting, or voting in our election, not their election, then the democracy scam is over. The illusion of democracy is over. And the people will be in a far better place to decide for themselves what kind of system they want, rather than this fraudulent, fake-ass system that is never, ever, ever going to write itself. Right, and part of this system is the truth or merry, merry, truth or merry-go-round industrial complex. They will suck you in with tunnels of good shit. Though they will play on your insecurities, everything. You've got problems with your boner. Come and get caveman. Rawr! AR-15. Fucking <laughs> tangy tangerine gives you a boner. So they play on your insecurities to lure you in, fill you full of shit, and. You stay on the system's merry-go-round. You never gravitate towards a different way of thinking or even exploring avenues to get rid of these fucking psychopathic fucks. I mean, I guarantee if, if I could speak Russian, you could potter into Russia and you'd find enough people hating their fucking rulers. People are the same everywhere you go to a certain extent, right? They all fucking cherish the same things and want to just basically get about their business without, with as least um, hassle as possible. And if we could, like, harness that fucking idea of simplicity of when we no longer require government in this world, interconnected world, where communication happens like that, we no longer need these centralised systems to try and fucking um, govern us. So every time the government has a fucking election at their polling stations, you grab a shoebox, as many pals as you can, stand next to it and say, vote us, not them. When we have more people voting in our box than a government-sanctioned fucking election, that's when the penny drops and that's when the dictatorship will have to unmask itself. Because we can go right, Cameron, Corbyn, fucking May, Bobo Johnston, Trump, Obama, all get to fuck. <laughs> this is our world and we want to fucking um, participate in the world the way we want, not the way that you're manipulating us to act within this fucking self-serving system who only serves at the people at the top. Yeah, um, I said this before, you ask a five-year-old kid to design a system, they could do a far better job. The, the system isn't like this by accident, it's absolute by design. It's a, self, it's a self-serving system that is never going to write itself. You cannot participate in a system to ask it to write itself. It isn't built into it. What the system will do is suck you in as you fight the system and destroy you from within. Either bribe you with money, hookers, blow, get you caught in camera, it will destroy you. The system is not your friend, it's not going to fucking fix itself or anything. Look at the state of the world, and the alternative media unfortunately keeps you on the merry-go-round, where you never gravitate towards exploring avenues of any real solutions or any real way of actually dealing with this. Um, so yeah, um, World War Trump uh, has begun. Um, hopefully the penny will drop that this guy is not a peacemaker. Uh, can you believe that people thought he was going to be the peace president? And again, uh, Hillary Clinton, you voted for Hillary, same thing. Voted for Trump, same thing. Wake up. Voting is not the answer. Americans as well, they constantly go on about 1776. They have this president even in their history that they could go and refer to this, they could do it digitally, en, ma or en masse. The whole of America could fucking get together online and sign a declaration of independence away from the fucking corporate whores in the fucking Washington DC. And then the corporate whores in Washington DC literally would have to, they haven't got the numbers, but if they, they would have to go to war with the American people. And they haven't got the numbers, they would have to decloak. Um, Somebody book that person, I no ball bags. Right. Sorry, somebody coming in with cookie. And let's see who this stupid arsehole's name is. I'm sorry about this, but I'm imagining these are maybe some butthurt Trump cunts. 
Yeah, Nick Jet. Are you all? Yeah, you're good. Oh, I need. Rolls. Bounty hat, mate. Well, they butt hurt. They butt hurt Trump people. Um, but that's him going. Fuck, I nearly let that cookie guy in as well. I was like, oh, it's cookie. Bastard. Um, I better go. Right, so. <laughs> So, um, right there, that where we go, we got that sorted. So, um, yeah, World War Trump has happened, hopefully, it has begun. Maybe the penny will drop that it isn't the peace loving president that people, uh, that he manufactured the consent to get him elected on. Um, hold on, man. There's an infestation of clowns in here. Mario! Um, oh, I don't need to check my Skype as well. Sorry for this bull crap, but just make sure everything's spot on. That'll be the 4chan mob coming. Um, I don't know, man. Maybe it's wee Kev Faker. Oh, that's what we'll get into as well. We need to go and touch on that base. Ho I'm hoping that the penny will drop and people will be so sceptical about Trump. Um, oh, God almighty, man. You're dilly f- <laughs> Um. Right. And again. Right. Uh, well, boys, you've all got controls. Right? I'm going to dish you all controls. Hold on, money. And if any of these wallopers come in, you should be able to take care of them. Put buttons are controls. Uh, well, once you've got controls, you just need to go over their avatar and you can boot them. Okay. Um, but, like, if it's... Just try and check your profile out first to make sure it's not a genuine person. But it looks like the butthurt Trump cunts are here. <laughs> Trump gas. I don't know. Maybe it's Homer Simpson, a.k.a. Joe Joseph. Maybe it's wee Kev Faker the Baker. Uh, ten grand. I don't know, man. These people are getting shown up for the fucking clowns and the frauds they are. Alex Jones, I'm fucking right, even though I'm fucking wrong. Mike Rivero coming out and backtracking over the fucking last year of fucking manufacturing consent for Trump and who, oh, I just wanted Hillary, I didn't want Hillary, I didn't want Trump. They're all backtracking and having to rebrand their own bullshit. So, um, what I'm going to do now, um, if I can manage to do it, is uh, Martin in the evening, my man. Thanks for joining. How are you doing? Yeah, not too bad. Hopefully you can hear me properly this time. Yeah. Oh, that Dilly's back. It's the Dali. It's not that much. Um, oh, shit, the drama. Oh, there we go. Um, now... <laughs> Hello. Is that us back? I'm not getting muted again. Uh, it's, 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 see, the weird thing is, they're muting me, but all they're doing is muting me in the, uh, to you guys. Everybody else can still hear me. So it's just, right. uh, just, the, way, just the way I'm broadcasting, because I'm not broadcasting through the Hangout, I'm broadcasting through my own software, so everybody else can still hear me. It's just you guys that I'm getting muted up from. So uh, Is that the real cookie? That is the real cookie, aye. <laughs> it's the real me. Uh, there's a new avatar, I was just wondering. Uh, I just, yeah, I guess, just bear great, in mind, great shabby. there was a dickhead came in with Cookie's name, so it looks like they're trying to use that tactic and stuff, so just stay on top, good folks. Um, over the target. Oh, well, exactly, mate, exactly. Um, right, so, uh, Martin in the evening. Oh, there's another fucking wallet, <laughs> man. I, I, think, I think it's just like the, uh, the hangout link. Somewhere, shouldn't they? <laughs> um, right, right, right. Uh, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. Uh, nah, fuck it, just persevere, man, because everybody can hear me. I just need to keep on muting myself. That's no problem at all. I can do that. Uh, so, in the evening, Martin, I was going to quickly bring up. Uh, now, earlier on, um, I was speaking about <laughs> Joe Joseph now coming out to uh, wake up Alex Jones. Um, now, uh, obviously, I don't, I don't even know this, but I'm assuming over your travels with the TFR mob and stuff, mate, you would have, uh, well, you would at least known of them, if not actually, um, very much been aware of them. Um, and there's another thing. Oh, God almighty, man. 
man. This is going to be fun, fun, fun. Um, so, yeah, can you hear me this time? It's a bit crackly and stuff again, mate. Oh, we can persevere. We can persevere, man. It's not a problem. Right, right, right. Um, solutions, solutions, solutions. Well, there is no fucking solution. Hold on a second. You guys just need to be on the ball, man. Blazing. Any cunt comes in, kick them. It's because you're not using the camera. The right. camera, the camera, the cameraman right. app is on, mate. No, but it's the way you're broadcasting. Because you're not live, it's not working. It is working, mate. People can see the, the wee people who come in, but they can't see them. Like, once you press the button to let them, they can see them at first. If you can just try and kick out everything that comes in. <laughs> it looks like it's going to be an absolute bad act. Unless we know them. Aye, aye, aye. We'll obviously try and know. Kick out anybody that's genuine, but it looks like there's going to be a wee bit of bull crap. There we go. See, so you just need to try and stay on top of these fucking bastards. <laughs> See, everybody at home can hear me, man. How the fuck do I sort this out? I think I'm aware in this. Ah, fuck it, let's just continue. Let's expose we Kev Faker again. So I was talking about Joe Joseph uh, and his bullcrap, uh, and obviously Martin alluded to the fact that they used to like, off-air mock and take the piss out of their listeners like due to all the garbage they were spewing out, knowing it was absolute bullshit. Are you guys fucking watching the, the, the chat at all, man? All you guys have got control, right? So if anybody bounces in, you can go right over their avatar, uh, avatar and eject them. Straight yeah, away. Straight back in. Mm. Just start talking. Um, it's, it's up, it? Right, well, remember guys, the broadcast are still hearing me, it's so only yous that aren't, so what I need to do is just go over my mute button. Just continue and we'll sort the wee dicks out. Right, no worries, man. Uh, right, so I'm going to... <laughs> I know, uh, <laughs> Well, Martin's been, uh, talked about the, 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 the bull crap that goes on, the way that they... they they're not what they report to be, they pretend to be on camera. <coughs> um, all this sh off air, they're laughing and mocking their own feckin' listeners. Um, so whether they believe, whether they even support Trump or not, it's probably debatable whether they're just jumping on the Trump fucking train. Strong possibility. So, um, Martin um, had a... Video had a playlist with a lot of his uh, details. Um, hold on, just check that's the right Jamesy boy. For fuck's sake. Aye, that's the right Jamesy. Where's <laughs> James and Kendall in, man? How are you doing, guys? Yeah, you said about the playlist. Aye, so Martin yeah. had Martin had a playlist, and it was it was a playlist from a lot of the information you put out uh, with Kevin TFR, and it was like predominantly over the Middle East sort of a topic, the stuff that you enjoy, mate. Yeah, I mean, I had a playlist for sort of everything that we did over the two years, um, and even right back at the start when you guys were doing the gun, there's a lot of gun ones out at the bottom, um, and I used to just add everything to it. Sometimes if I had a show, uh, another show on the network. Martin, man, oh. honestly, the fucking gremlins are out the night, mate. Yeah, aud your audio's right. getting went really bad there. Um, well, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it's definitely not my connection, because I'm getting 42 mega at the minute, but... Um, I don't think it sounds like your connection. It sounds like the exact same problem we had beforehand, mate. It's just like a bit crackly and... Um, yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll try and fix it and I'll come back, so I don't know. Right, no worries, mate. We'll it's ever <laughs> No worries, man. Um, well... Like, long story short, Martin was talking about, um... Oh, hold on, he's real, I think. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Fucking pain oh, in the ass, all these arseholes coming in. So, um, Martin, Martin the created things, a... Yeah. <laughs> well, hold on, I'll dish out some more controls to use, guys, and he's can stay on top of it, man. Best way to sort it out. Uh, Jamesy boy, you've got controls. Kendall controls. 
clear old one people. So you guys can throw out anybody, any walloper that comes in and starts muting me up and stuff. So, Martin had a playlist with a lot of the TFR content and stuff um, that was discussing the Middle East topic and stuff. Now, I can only imagine some of it would have been where uh, Martin was um, <laughs> chatting about the Middle East and the... the, 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 the subject to Zionism, so on and so forth, as well as Trump. Uh, and what Martin noticed was is Kev Baker has now went in and periodically deleted a lot of the content uh, that was in... Oh, there we go, man. Full house. Fucking happy days. I can fucking worry about actually speaking. Okay. As I know it's always good for me. I fucking can't he speak at the best of times to try to concentrate on two things at once. So um, I had a, had a, a playlist, and I think he was just looking at the other day and noticed that Kev had went in and deleted quite a lot of the content um, from the playlist. Um, before I got rudely interrupted, I was going to show that to everybody. Um, I'll show that to the people in the hangout as well. Um, let me just get that up. So here's a video that Martin made earlier on. As you can see, this was. Um, Shows from True Frequency Radio Network. Uh, this was on Martin's channel, a playlist that he'd made. There's no audio with this, the audio um, didn't muck up a bit, but as you can see, what he's going down is just going down a playlist and showing you um, the amount of content that periodically, um, well, more, more recently, Kev has went back in and started deleting, um, whether it's because of what he's saying, the political view. Who really knows? Um, but what I do know is Kev done the exact same thing with myself um, when I caught him. Well, I didn't actually ca caught him. I, I suspected it was him that was uh, blocking all my content on Facebook, reporting all my content on Facebook. So I called his bluff. <laughs> uh, it did turn out to be him. And uh, that's when he went in and started deleting a lot of mine and his back catalogue and whatnot. Um, and as you can see there, there's lots of videos that he's went in, removed about the Middle East, and these are uh, all shows um, that Martin was involved in, talking about the subject of Zionism, so on and so forth. So I, I think <laughs> maybe what's happened is people have started um, registering these hypocrisies and going, well, you said this here and now you're saying that here. And he's went in and started trying to delete all the hypocrisies um, because he, he, he isn't really actually speaking from the heart. It's just a load of fucking bullcrap to sell, um, to sell books and get clicks on his YouTube. So there you can see from the um, footage that Martin took the amount of videos that he's went in and removed. Um, well, sorry, man. Oh, sorry, I didn't realise it. Could could you hear that? Yeah, yeah, mate, you're back in the room, loud and clear, man. How are you? Doing? Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, you can see there the ones that are deleted mainly was the ones back in the start of what the Syrian invasion, phony uprising back in 2011. I had loads of stuff. I mean, back then I wasn't as good at sort of talking freestyle, so you'd have to sit and sort of write things down and piece things together, and I put a lot of work into it. And there was no reasons why it'd be anything to do with copyright or anything, and. I noticed a couple of them when I was still on the show because it tells me at the top one or more videos have been deleted from this playlist. Had been deleted, so I called Kev up on it and I said, "You know, what, where's these videos gone?" He said, "Oh well, uh, YouTube had turned off the monetization for those ones. Couldn't monetize them anymore. Sorry, pal, deleted them." And I just thought, "Why? Wow, this is somebody that's supposed to care about truth and information and this awakened being, you know, so-called." <laughs> bullshit but um I, I just couldn't understand it where if you care so much about this truth thing and putting the message out why you would remove videos just because you couldn't no longer make money from them anymore it just didn't make sense but i just thought okay whatever that's care for you um and then like you say kip when you left he went back and deleted all those ones and it's just like an egotistical thing to me it's just not what he's supposed to be about, what this facade that he puts on on the air, you know, that he's all for the people, <laughs> this, that, and the other. It's just a total psychological operation. It's bullshit. It's absolute bullshit. See, the crazy thing is, man, like, people think I'm a cunt because of the way I act and stuff, and I probably am, but I, like, I'm kind of this way in real life, whereas, like, Kev, fucking night and day, he isn't who he pretends to be. I don't know. Um, but it was very interesting, Martin. I had any, I had any, um, 
I heard you mentioning the fact that uh, he actually indicated to you that he was deleting them straight off his channel because they were monetized. Even that, that blows me away, man. Like, why not? Like, the way I'm looking at it, even if you're just producing content to get it monetized, why go and delete back catalogue? And if, if you're saying it's stuff that you put a lot of work into and stuff. Well, that was a common thing that everybody sort of agreed on and sort of laughed and joked with him about. They'd say, oh, you're a shameless wee scumbag. And he'd say, oh, I know. And he'd call himself shameless sometimes. You know, some of the titles like Breaking News, Urgent, Red Alert, you know, and clickbait kind of tactics. And we used to pull him up on it, but he didn't care. He was just like, so, it's the Kev Baker show. What are you going to do? <laughs> you know, <laughs> that kind of attitude when it didn't start off as the Kev Baker show, did it? It was... Uh, me, him, and Johnny, and Days even at the beginning, and we were all doing our thing, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, we went on one day, and he's like, oh, we're rebranding to the Kev Baker show, and then off air, he's like, oh, I'm sorry, guys, you you guys don't mind, do you? You don't mind? I'll change the name, I'll change the name, and I'm like, no, carry on, mate. <laughs> at least it's on your head now, you know, uh, just because it was pretty clear earlier on that the management within the network was not being quite Hundred percent truthful, uh, but yeah, that's a subject we could get into further down the line with uh, Chris Geo's connections to Alex Jones and MyPatriotSupply.com. Um, Chris Geo actually moving from Denver, Colorado to Washington State um, after going for some interview with George Nori at Coast to Coast AM, and there was all talks of it going on Sirius FM or some some satellite channel, some big affiliation coming up. Um, and then that's when all the, they changed all the website and they did all the pay. You know, you have to pay if you want to download the full show and all these kind of tactics that some of the other um, more shillier independent networks out there, you know, that are solely in it for the cash, uh, it started to go that sort of way. Um, so, yeah, just called it out for what it was. But a lot of things that shouldn't have happened, really. And, and I think this is stuff that people want to hear. Just the same way that we're like, I would love to hear, I'd love to be a fly in the inside of a BBC News fucking meeting. I mean, th this this is the kind of stuff like I think people um, would benefit from hearing in the sense of understanding that behind the I'm just here to save humanity. I I care about I care about the children honestly. There is like just a money making wee scumbag or scumbags or. Just deception, just deception, especially when you go into the truth for movement and you're all about the truth and all that stuff. It's the absolute deception. And I was even mentioning it earlier on with the sense that this, you can't change the system um, from within. And uh, YouTube and the monetization of YouTube is a very good example. You would get so many well-meaning individuals rocking up, feeling the truth movement. I'm going to contribute. Uh, and then boom, shakalaka, they get trapped into the, 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 the they get trapped by the money the, by the, 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 the shiny shiny at the end of the rainbow and stuff and they move away from where they originally were, came from and most yeah. sorry man sorry man yeah I was just going to say that's exactly what happened as well as you can see with the content it started to get more woo this that and the other and uh, with, with Kev, he started saying, oh, well, we'll do half an hour of sort of breaking down the news and stuff. And then I've got some woo stories. And in, after a bit, I was like, you know, should we just leave that till a Friday? Have that as a separate show that's just all out there kind of shit, whatever people can call it. And fine, you know, some of it's interesting, fascinating, but it is entertainment. There's no sort of truth about it. It's supposed to be speculation and Bigfoot stories. And you know what I'm saying? And I think that's part of the agenda, and I think that's what we're told from the network to dilute Martin, that Martin, stuff. Your, your mic, your mic, your mic, mic, your mic just your mic just bad again. Bad again. Uh, oh wow! Yeah. Living nice spiders. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Feedback. feedback. But um, but um, Martin, 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 I can hear myself can hear back really, back really back badly. Back. And it's Martin, and it's, it's, Martin, it's, it's coming it's for you. You can see it through your voice. Thing. Um, um, let me see, is that even? Let me see, that even? Ah, it's, going, it's coming out, it's going out in the broadcast as well. Um, oh, there we go. Cheers, Martin. That was it, man.
Fuck, I could hear myself back here, nothing more disconcerting. Sorry, lads, it's amateur hour over here. No, mate, it's, it's all right, man. Um, whatever's happening sounds similar to what happened to Lowlands yeah. microphone quite a lot, so... It was, it was I don't know what's going on, because when I'm doing YouTube videos or recordings, it's absolutely fine. It's just Hangouts for some reason. But it is a bit of a mind walk, because I've got two sound cards and a mixer, and it's a bit... Yeah. Above, above my pay grade, that's for sure, man. But like, I, I, Martin, like yourself, I think it's worthwhile people hear what's actually going, what's genuinely going on, and understand <laughs> behind the, the the face, the, the YouTube and the, the 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 TFR facade and the rest of the rest of the Truffle Industrial Complex. There's some real Machiavellian fucking arseholes out there just trying to better themselves. They're not trying to actually do anything for anybody other than themselves. They've been fucking caught up in the system. The system has used them and turned it against the fucking truther movement. Um, and <clears throat> I don't know, I think it's beautiful for people to hear what's going on in some of these networks. And it, like for myself, my only experiences with that mob, um, Martin must have touched bases over his time with a lot more different networks and people than myself. Um, but even just the this, this small wee venture I had, it, it opened up to my eyes to the possibility that behind a truther is actually a real cunt or a real person that isn't what they're, they're reporting to be on the YouTubes. And as time has moved on and my journey through this information is is continued, um, it looks very much so to be the truth. So um, thanks for everybody joining and getting rid of those wild across coming in. So um, we'll go around the room. And see what everybody's take is on about with the, the recent um, um the recent events that have led us up to where we are. Um, what you think, like the significance of what happened, what Trump has just done in Syria, what maybe the fallout is going to be, and can you see a second in, uh, awaking in as such as uh, people are now starting to be more skeptical about the alternative media. So, uh, in the evening, Cookie, how you doing, my man? Is that the real Cookie? Stand up. Uh, yeah, she's the real man. <laughs> how you doing, mate? All right. Uh, not bad. Um, um, but you know, I can get pedantic about words, but um, awakening doesn't necessarily have to be a, a final thing. And for years I've been talking about how, you know, for a lot of people expect it to be an on-off switch. Like something will occur and that will magically be the awakening moment for everybody, for somebody, yeah. But I think it's more of a, it's a process. Yeah, the, these kind of things that have been happening recently on the YouTubes are revealing more and more of the arseholes. They can't help themselves but chase the money, chase the bullshit when they're selling a, a propaganda narrative or selling a book. But they're chasing that so much that they reveal themselves more and more. So, you know, I know we granted, uh, I, I say we, kind of like the royal we, says, we've often talked about this kind of stuff and I've ranted about it at length. The more they crack down on this kind of environment, the more they're going to reveal their tyranny. And it's the best way to expose them, get them to reveal their tyranny. And then everybody can see it becomes obvious and the the bullshit no longer holds up and more and more people will see it. And that awakening process has now got to this point where a large part of the, certainly the YouTube, but I think a lot of the internet in terms of the social media, Twitter and Face Twat and whatever else, it's starting to become so blatantly obvious that they're controlled environments and they're just as much like or the same as and part of the mainstream as the mainstream that we've supposedly been told is the bad guys now. Yeah? So for the last at least four years, if not longer, they push this whole meme of the sort of the freedom of the the truth movement because we're on the internet, therefore we can talk about this kind of stuff. Blah 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 blah. blah. The reality of it is, the majority of them are there as part of that mainstream media, and now the mainstream media has got the infrastructure installed into this environment. It's turning on the fences. You know, so we've seen that restriction in terms of what supposedly what you can or can't talk about because it will get demonetized or shut down. That's there now. Now they've got their foot in the door 
the the corporatism is consolidating their monopoly. But like I said, you know, the more they crack down, the more it will reveal it, the more the awakening will move forward because it will become so obvious that more and more people will see it for what it is. And these bullshitters will inevitably reveal themselves. They'll become obvious by their trail of shit. Yeah. And again, look for the positives. I mean, when Trump got elected, I was hoping that would be the death of Alex Jones and the alternative and the fake alternative media. It's yeah. looking like that's panning out. And all and, and why I think that's a positive thing is um if you weed out all the agenda driven based arseholes from both the mainstream media and the alternative media or the internet media, it makes the voices that are out there fucking that more worthy of listening to. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, because, like, I don't know, even somebody you disagree with, uh, completely the opposing side of the argument for you, if, if, if they aren't coming to sell you an agenda, they just have those genuine beliefs, they're the best debates you can have and uh, probably yeah. the most productive. But when you get the agenda-driven, fucking look, look at the amount of shit we've witnessed over the time of doing the hangouts and stuff, the way people come in and very subtly change the conversation, imply things, take it this way and that way. It's all these subtle manipulations to try and distract and keep you off a point. And, um, I, I mean, like, with regards to solutions and how and how to stop all this stuff, like, there's... Nowadays, I don't see anybody touching on the legalese side of things. I don't know if it's just because... I don't know, it just, just fell out of favour or something, but there's so many... Um, parts of the puzzle that, that, that I'm so glad I looked into over my journey that don't seem to be there anymore. I mean, everybody... Uh, Mike Rivero was fucking selling you Bitcoin the other day. Oh, who was it he was talking about? This some, oh, Japan loves Bitcoin. They've got all these shops they're accepting Bitcoin and stuff, and they're not coming... At, they're distracting from the, the um, real argument or the real question of how money is created and the interest and the usury that's on that. Um, and they've moved it from fractional the fiat money that exists to fiat fucking digital money, virtual money. Um, and they, they really are... Um, the, the alternative media um, is having to rebrand re so badly, but as Cookie says, they're, they're unveiling themselves um, more and more and more as Trump unveils himself to be the cunt that he is. Not that Hillary Clinton's good, just all politicians are bad, don't vote, vote for us, not them. Um, it is making it easier, hopefully easier for a lot more people um, to, to see through a lot of the, the fake alternative media. Um, so what, what do you think? The video, sorry, the video you put up today, you know, that was, if people need the kind of smoking gun demonstration of uh, hypocrisy and dissonance, uh, fat face melon head Jonesy trying to do a kind of explanation of why the attack in Syria is actually, you know, in your favour, Trump's doing you a good favour kind of thing. And it's just like, I don't know how to describe it other than the face palm. You know, just, <laughs> oh my God, this is just hideously ridiculous. And but it has become that obvious now. And with what Trump just done in Syria, um, now, look, look at how much more clustered together all these events are coming. Uh, and, and, and whether it's the same experience as you get older, the years seem to go shorter. As you get older and more into this, the events, everything seems to speed up. Whether that's actually happening or it's just your perception. And I know like, a lot of people have constantly said, oh, it's getting quicker, it's getting quicker. But right now, um, and maybe this has been true for, for propaganda since fucking it began, but they seem to be just hitting you with one thing. And before you've even had a time to process it and analyse it, another thing's coming along. So I suppose for the analogy of like just throwing the hurdles a wee jabs at a boxer, you just keep them just off balance, just keep them a wee bit off balance. And, and that's what they seem to be doing. Like nobody can really regroup, come to some clear thinking about what's happening and, and express that <laughs> verbally. Because before Trump, before you've got a chance to go, look, that sarin, that, that gas attack was bullshit in Syria. Trump's already launched the missiles. And before you the time, you've got to say, look, Trump's a war criminal. There's a fucking... Another truck ploughing through people in Sweden. <laughs> Very coincidental that, isn't it? That Trump put fucking shit on, put the um, 
attention on Sweden, then Infowars were on Sweden, Tim Pool were on Sweden, everybody's talking about Sweden. And then you get a guy in a truck fucking ploughing through people in Sweden. What's so special the, about Sweden? And then the Russia incident as well. Ah, that's yeah, right. That's... Where was the Eiffel but, Tower going? The terror, if, if they were genuine, just trying to think from the point of view of the, the logic of the terrorist, if they are a genuine terrorist, they want attention. The acts of terrorism, using terrorism to supposedly achieve your goal, absolutely requires attention. <laughs> so if the world media says all the media is in such and such city at th uh, for some convention or something, where are the terrorists going to go? They're going to go there. So it, it, it's, it suits the, the playing out of the narrative very well. You know, if they just mention somewhere and lo and behold, there's an attack there. And they're definitely keeping a lot of people off balance. I was just looking at this, he's caught that picture there as well. Um, <laughs> a bald Trump. That's what he really looks like. That's yeah, a nice one, that's Peter. That's him. That's really him. How are you doing tonight anyway, Peter? All right, man? I'm good, Chip. I'm good, yeah. I was just thinking the backtracking of the is it dump Trump moments for the alternative media who've been backing him for you know so long now. And it's just oh, fun to see. It's, I'm just train. laughing. It's just, yeah, there you go. It all comes cr crumbling down and the panic. And I suppose the terror attack in Sweden helps them to, you know, steer people, you know, away from that, or, you know, the distraction. It helps in that sort of, you know, um, smoothing over the, the bullshit that uh, Joseph Watson's come out with and Jonesy and all the rest of them over the last year or two or oh, more about this fucking Trump character and all the rest of them, like you mentioned, Kip. He's, he's the real deal, he's the real deal. Yeah, I mean, this is, and then today, we've had, obviously, or yesterday, when they uh, sent out 59 Tomahawk missiles, it, what was it, $1.3 million each? Ah, uh, something like um, that. Yeah. Um, I mean, how many do they need to drop? How big a hole do they want to blow? You know what I'm saying? It's like, for fuck's sake. Um, well, they dropped them on the base that they claimed was the, the place that, where the chemical weapons were stored to do the attack. So they drop all those mm. munitions on a place that could, you know, release even more chemical weapons into the atmosphere. I think I've got a good sign. I think I've got a good yeah. sound bite for that. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to rumble USA! USA! Donald but, Trump! But if, you, but if you think about it, right, you've got, you know, Trump, look, you know, with his, with his, with his like, weapons now, and 59, I mean, can imagine 59 Tomahawk missiles, one Tomahawk missile will cause a massive devastation in, this more, in an area. 59 of them? Fucking hell. There and, you go, you can't stop him. He's off, he's, he's, he's rolling now. And, and the positives, yeah. Peter, can you, can you see sort of a, like, the, the second awakening or like, a, a, the second awakening or even just like people are now starting to be a bit more sceptical about the so-called alternative media? I think that's a positive thing. Mm, well, I think, you know, you just see it all play out now. People should, like you say, be more realising what's actually going on now because it's coming thick and fast and it's hard to keep up, like you said. So hard to keep up at the moment. I mean, how many events just the last few days? Uh, one after the other, one after the other, one after the other. And, like, you don't have that time. And um, you just think the last, well, since January, just count them, just count how many things have happened. And it's ramping up quicker and quicker and quicker uh, all across Europe, all across, you know, of the world um but you know all of these things I mean, russia you mentioned before st petersburg just last week um or this week earlier this week should i say i'm losing track of myself there's that many coming at us um and then the two yesterday today and we had the obviously the attack by the um, you know westminster bridge you know the london attack um and to go back further to, to paris you know this this driving into pedestrians or killing people in trucks and things it seems to be the the common theme now. See, so. I, w I was thinking along the lines of, um, with this recent thing that's happened, um, I, I don't know if you've heard today, the, the, the British parliamentary fucking apparatus was out saying, well, we were fully informed of the strikes, we didn't participate, but we were fully informed and we support America and their action and stuff, and then they were talking about the vote we had in 2013, and I think uh, the no war with Syria vote only won by was it thirteen or sixteen votes? So it was quite quite close, um, a quite close vote. Now with the hindsight, 
and, and again, it's it's hard. Who's responsible? Who fucking knows? But it's, I think it's hard to deny that all these events are integrally linked. Um, with even with the, the chemical attack, eh, sorry, the London attack that happened, and then the chemical attack in Syria. Uh, the, the attack that happened in London, not only did it scare the bejesus out of the citizens, it had Parliament in lockdown, so that would scare the bejesus into all the, the MPs and whatnot, making them um, easier to manipulate when it comes to voting for war. You need to vote for this war, or maybe the next guy with a knife will come and stab you in the neck. Um, so, like, do you think, Peter, that like, um, it's undeniable that all these vents seem to be uh, creating a clear pattern anyway? Yeah, well, they have been for a while. I mean, if you go, if you, if, this is what I mean. I mean, there's, there's that much uh, fact out there and it doesn't take, you know, it doesn't take much to really put it together and see the false flag things that people need to go and look into. The, what, what's a false flag? What is a, you know, a, a government sort of created event or um, something to steer you in a particular direction by using these fear tactics and stuff like that. And we know with all of the attacks we see, the uh, security services are all involved somewhere along the line um, with these characters before they come on the scene and do these attacks, whatever. It, I mean, the, the attacks we've had recently, we haven't even had time to, like I say, digest anything yet, really, because there's one thing after another. So uh, as time goes by with the recent stuff, we'll, we'll probably see, um, you know, with the, the, the attack in Sweden and stuff, that, uh, I mean, they're calling it a terror event now, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what comes out with that. And um, it's just, it's just hope um, things start calming down a bit. And uh, but it seems they're going all out to create a constant fear. You know, it's always it's been there. I say since nine eleven, really. If you go back to that event, I think before then it was you know people weren't so bad. But since that event, it's just cascaded from then on to what we have now, which is just one thing after another, one thing after another. Is you don't have time, like you say, to digest anything before the next thing's already thrown at you in some terror, you know, in the mainstream media all over it, you know, constantly reporting. So they're just focusing on this terror event one thing after another, you know, because all the mainstream media, as you know, they'll take a story like what happened in Syria and they'll run it for, you know, a few days. They did the same with the London terror attack. They run that for a few days and just one, you know, big chunks of fear being, you know, psychologically getting in there and stirring, you know, getting, you know, getting you to behave a certain way and accept the normalization that comes from that. You know, accept your CCTV, accept your, you know, the legislation that takes away your freedoms and stuff. You know, this is what, you know, you have to give up because we have to stop this, you know. So that's how they do it. Um, I think it's good. People can't see that, then it's sad, but you, know, you need to go and have a look yourself and see it for yourself. Don't listen to the, alter you know, you know the, 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 what I call the mainstream alternative, if you know what I mean. Um, those sorts of people you've talked about, Jonesy and Watson and all the other lot, you know, who are still... You know, we've all got heavily behind this madman here that you see before you. Um, and, you know, are they, you know, anyone like you say to, to me talking about anything political in that sense and pushing people, it tells you exactly where they are, where they're coming from. They ain't what you think they are. And they're there, as we've said and said many times, they're businessmen. They're in it for the big books and to steer you back into the system. And I think what's happened as well, Peter, you, you mentioned on it, it's like, be careful who you give your loyalty to. There's people yeah, out there fighting it, fighting for it, um, for ulterior agendas other than to sell you the truth. Um, and, and look at the pattern as well. Before, like, I mean, I remember back in the day when Occupy was happening and I was very new to this medium and it was like, oh, wow, look, fucking all these clicks and links and on-the-street journalism and all that good stuff. Um, and with hindsight, look what Occupy done. Occupy was more harmful than it mm -hmm. was positive. It took more rights away here in London. Well, here in London. Here in the UK, it destroyed squatters' right down in London. Uh, over in America, it allowed them to put more bullcrap in with, with regards to people's freedoms on the street and so on and so yeah. forth. Um, and on the surface, you would have thought Occupy was, oh, good, and the free, and look, we're fighting for what's right. And then in hindsight, it turns out that Occupy... Was uh, it was inverted? It, it wasn't there to do what it said. It was the complete opposite. Uh, also, look at We Are Change and Tim Pool, the social justice warrior and the alt right fucking guys put on a pedestal through the medium of Occupy. And then look at Trump as well. 
the peace president. He's going to protect your rights, save America, make America great again. And he's inverted it all. He's doing the absolute complete opposite and, and hoping that spin bullshit and keeping people polarised and confused. Can you imagine right now if the American people united? <laughs> imagine. I just imagine yeah. every country. I'm sick of, I'm sick of all that. Imagine the American people done that. Got an online petition saying let's declare ourselves independent yet again from these fucking tyrannical fucking morons. And eh, uh, imagine what could happen. There could be a second fucking American Revolution, a second independence. And when you're saying these things as well, you can do them non-violent. I mean, the reason violence, I don't know, this is the way I sort of I see it. Back in the day, violence was kind of needed because to get sort of a, a single message out, everybody had to be in a single place. With the technology we have now, you don't. You can have the thousands, the millions, the hundreds of thousands of people virtually in the same place, seeing the same shit and get that message out, which means you don't require violence because there isn't a Darth Vader outfit wearing morons that can bounce up and club you over the head and put you in, put you in jail. So Im imagine you got the Americans banded together and hopefully other countries would do this as well, man. I mean, th 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 what, what's good for one is good for the other. And this um, idea as well would, would is to get... The Founding Fathers of America tried to claim America's sovereignty back. That crazy idea is every individual out there declare yourself independent and claim your sovereignty back. Mm -hmm. um, it sounds bizarre, oh, but I think people need to uh, uh, fucking explore it. And um, uh, America right now, if, they, if Americans right now, if they came together, um, they could probably bring down the whole government and stuff. Everybody's so discontented yeah. and stuff. It's just unfortunate think... they're polarised, so they'll never come together. I think when you talked about Occupy, it's interesting because they'd seen that coming. They sort of planned for that. They saw the wave, so they wanted to sort of, if you like, um, social experiment, so to speak. So money behind it from Soros, as we found out later, with all these sorts of events that were held. Um, to co-opt it. They yeah. captured that energy that they knew would be coming, and they had a pre-packaged steam valve ready to go, labelled Occupy. Yeah. So and also it gave them uh, an idea of what the what you know what the mood was you know people were you know disenchanted and pissed off and whatever and you know were angry at what was going on and all the rest of it and it seemed to I think back in the day um, you know when the internet sort of thing that was it when was that uh, Occupy 2011 wasn't it Occupy so you'd had like a good few years of people going online looking at stuff you know getting into whatever. And they'd already, you know, years before, like I say, they'd already knew this was kind of coming. This kind of um, um, knowledge was going to be, you know, information was, you know, people could go and expand themselves, you know, and they knew the internet would change a lot of things. So they'd already put in place what was going to be, you know, the, the future occupies and things like this to steam valve it, like you said, Cookie. So, yeah. And it was, there was Noam Chons Chonsky as well. It's on record saying that the global... The Globally, there's like, a, I'm paraphrasing a wee bit, but he said, globally, there's an awakening, a political awakening that's happening globally globally right now, it's like, like mm -hmm. no other. Now, I can't remember, was it the late 90s or early 2000s he said that on camera? And then <laughs> him saying that, realising there that because of the medium of the internet that had been opened up, it's like opening up a new library of the world, people were going and managing to suck up, suck up all the information that previously they they, they didn't have access to. So that was the political awakening that he was talking about. They were aware it was happening. It was a barrage of new information coming out, so you can't stop the, the tsunami of information, so you try and control it, you try and create the dams, you try and create the uh, the, fucking, the outlets and stuff to, to, to um, control that flow, um, the, the flow of information, and it looks like over the, the journey of the internet, they have tried to steer the consciousness of people to, to, to change the political landscape of the world. I mean, you need to only go and look at the Philippines to see that things are changing. The uh, Philippines, the Duterte guy, you, you, oh, only, yeah. Yeah. you only need to go and look over uh, the Philippines to see that this sort of a right-wing Donald Trump kind of character, Nigel mm -hmm. Farage, that these types are on the rise, and it's, and it's through the information that's been peddled on the internet. Now, th this are, are being put out by the alternative media. Now, if the alternative media wasn't steering people down a, a road to um, support the system, 
people would no longer, the political awakening would have been realising we don't need permission to be free. We, we have the tools to govern ourselves now with the technology we have. We no longer need this centralised base of operations where people can come together and communicate to, um, to, to run a country and whatnot. That, that would be the political awakening if it wasn't steered. Whereas it was steered and all you have is people voting for Brexit, Donald Trump, Le Pen, mm. and, and it's tearing people apart. I mean, well, it's back. It's back into the system, isn't it? I mean, remember when uh, Russell Brand did that uh, number on everybody? Everyone thought he was great. And he steered everybody back into voting at the time when it was a general election in the UK. That was all part of that, you know. And it's still going on now, but we, we may be... Because maybe the, the youth culture stuff on, on YouTube, I'm not seeing a lot of it. It's it's happening in different ways now. They're being steered back into the system all of the time by their popular stars or the ones that are, you know, they follow a lot on Twitter or YouTube or whatever. So these people are all being, uh, they're still out there, but it's it's more what you call spread out now. And then you get the big star like Brand, who was completely called, you know, was a joke. And we said that at the time, we all called it out for what it was when it all broke and everyone said oh Russell Brand's uh, spoken out on the BBC do you remember all that bullshit and um, you know they're fucking who you are about it all and you know again to steer people away um, done in such a subtle clever way and then you know all the division and all that that created as well you know again they're always working out ways to keep us apart to keep us fighting against each other and in these sorts of whatever you want to call this environment I don't know what you call it but we're all on the same page we all know the world's fucked or we, we want change or we want a better society we want to be freer we don't like the encroaching fucking police state and militarised fucking type environment they're building around us type of thing you know surveillance and snoopers charters and all the rest of it so you know we're, that's why we're here so you know they want us all fighting against each other over little petty little details and things like that and then we we have to stand against people like you know the joneses the big ones who are you know I and mean, if people can't see him for what he is then fucking hell you know that you know they, we've got a lot to learn still <laughs> maybe, um, maybe it'll take you know, them four years I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, just to see what he's talking about anyway right now and the way he pushes the that political agenda now and the way Mr. Watson's done so over the last uh, while as well and then backtracking so quickly now. It's like, a, it's comical to see. It's embarrassing. It's like, go away, you guys, you know. Come on, we're all, we all know what's going on. It's funny. You know, you, please, they're embarrassing. It's funny <laughs> you touch on Russell Brand, though, because, like, he was, like, in hindsight, again, he, he could see that the, the system just rolled this character out and Russell Brand was hip, trendy, cool, all the games, like Channel 4. <laughs> he was yeah, a, yeah. the embodiment of Channel 4, or sorry, E4, because that was even cooler. But um, it, was, it was, like, at the time, it was so obvious that this was just a character rolled out to get you um, to suck in, to, again, fight for your loyalty. Russell Brand got millions of people's loyalty and then told you to vote for Labour <laughs> after telling you not to vote at all. So that, that absolutely sucked you all and all that power Dup and boom, diverted it at the last second towards Labour. Yeah, double speak used all the time, you know, that sort of draw you in that way and then flip it around quickly to, uh, you know, get you to, oh yeah, well that is the only way then, that is the only way. You know, we'll never change anything unless we vote. Um and it's a trick. They've pulled it. I mean, every time, every time. I mean, look who, look at this crazy motherfucker now. You know, uh, Mr. Trump. You know, he's, he's. You know, every they fall for it every time. We fall for it in this country with what we what we get dolloped up by the fucking establishment. You know, it's, these are the the fucking goons you've got to vote for every five years. You know, it's it's a joke. I, I think we um, we we've got an advantage over here in the UK though, Peter. We had Tony Blair to learn from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I can yeah. remember being a, a young guy and listening to him and going, oh wow, he's going to fucking make us the best country in the world. And wow, what a fucking lesson that guy was, man. Yeah. We're going back to when 1997 was that, that election. Wow. Yeah. So, Things yeah. can only <laughs> get better. <laughs> <laughs> can you still remember that man? Honestly, can you still remember yeah. it's not the, it's not the song they mar the sing as they march on the road to hell. You know, <laughs> thank you, good intentions. I can just remember with the big Labour Party conference when they branded it New Labour and Tony Blair. That, Things can only. Oh man, it was like. Yeah. Think of the. Think of the. Um, it was all. Cool Britannia. 
Ah, ex these exactly, mate, spot on. It was all fur coat and no knickers. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was all fucking PR and bullshit here. I'll see hands with Noel Gallagher and other, all the Oasis fans will like me. It was that shallow and, and mm. it was that shallow and manipulative, but yet it really worked. And I know we can sit up here and go, how does this work? How did people fall for this? Um, and like, we're right in saying that. It's like how far in the game you are. But um, mm. these tricks that they are using are very effective. And, and, and I think um, understanding that we can be manipulated, we probably have been manipulated in the past and maybe um, capable of being manipulated in the future. And, and just be aware of that makes you less likely to be manipulated. It's a bit like, treat everything like propaganda, and it's less likely to get inside your nut. Yeah, they want everybody to be smiling. You see, and while you're smiling and happy with that, you know, that excitement of something happening may, it hasn't happened, but they promise something will happen. He's then going, like Tony Blair did, going to change things like the Treason Act and rewrite all the, bring in more, more draconian stuff that you know is, is is off the charts and then take us to an illegal war with you know iraq you know totally you know no weapons of mass destruction you know total lies uh, dossiers all beefed up and oh well anyway don't get me started we'll be here till fucking four o'clock in the morning so well, maybe uh, not go down that avenue so yeah but, but what you touched on there with the fact of illegal wars like hopefully since iraq um Hopefully people are starting to wake up and smell the cheese that there is no such thing as legal and illegal. It's all just cunts, men. Yeah. <laughs> they write it down. Oh, that's illegal. Not anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? They literally make up the rules as they go along and they can't get away with it. Um, Faze was touching on uh, Cool Britannia there. Um, I can remember that well, man. So, uh, in the evening days, you can ridiculise them, make sure you check out the new... Oh, that's a... Uh, Peter as well has changed his channel name. Um, his channel What's it name... coming up as? Does it come up as reality when I speak? Ah, it's so. coming up as reality, mate, so... Uh, reality, that's what... yeah, reality yeah. chat, yeah. So make sure you check out uh, reality chat on the Wednesdays at 8 bells. Uh, you with us, days? How are you doing this evening, my man? Hi, how are you doing, Cap? No, good, man. Make sure you check out the news right. rant at 6 bells, Monday to Friday, man. Um, Thanks, man. And uh, days... How you doing? Oh, I, I can't go on, man, without any donations. The the news I'm gonna can't add somebody to mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. Yo. I'm gonna add somebody to this thing, okay? Somebody somebody's here. Uh, hold on, Who's that master? Um, they're just my friends, they're they're probably gonna join call. For what reason? They were on their they they were on your stream. Right, you. Cool. What is it you want to talk about? I don't know. It's probably Trump or something. All right, no worries. So, uh... <laughs> I don't know, man. Sorry for being a bit suspicious and stuff, but it's just like... What neck of the wood are you from? Oh, in a second. We are sorry? Hello. Okay. Oh, great. Why, why, did, you, why did he remove him? I really don't know what that was all about. But anyway, move on. Oh, fuck. Um, what the fuck just happened there? Yeah, radio. Do bear with me. That was a small interruption in the broadcast. It will get sorted. So. Well, I know what I'll do. Stick a wee bit of music on. What have we got? Here we go. Oh, I've not downloaded Daisy's new one. Shit. Stick this on. Do bear with me, I'll get this all sorted and back up and running.
Exactly what the hell happened there, but it was not good. That was somebody's kid. They'd used their kid to come in as an innocent and give them enough time to be able to click the button. Is it that fat ginger fucking twat slattery here, you, you fat ginger fucking racist sounding cunt? If it is, come up to Glasgow, you fat cunt. I'll play a prank on you. Wouldn't yeah. surprise me if it was him and his twats. Aye, probably. Probably, mate. It makes more sense. That fat ginger cunt. <laughs> fat James Slattery. He's not racist because he's married to a black chick, but he goes around being racist to other fucking black chicks. Get that in your pipe and smoke it, you fat ginger bastard. <laughs> uh, but, and like, the, the, he has got MO for taking his kids and using his kids as yeah. fucking uh, props. Imagine they're one so of those. Low they are. They're so despicable they are. They'll use their children in that kind of fashion. Aye. Uh, it Unpaid. Child labour. <laughs> um, and anybody else out there? But, like, I, was, oh, I don't even want to fucking think about how they used it to batter into the, the bull crap. But anyway, doesn't matter. Anybody else want to join? There's the link there. <laughs> um, I mean, can he get put off for this shit? You just need to keep at it, man. Uh, it's really content to deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> See if it didn't put... you over the target. It proves you're over the target because they yeah. have to resort to such low-level kind of tactics to try and disrupt what you're doing. And all I was going thing. to say before I was really interrupted anyway was I, it's hard to add to what you were saying. I mean, Trump's revealed himself with part of the club. Baker's revealed, revealed himself at J. Allen, pff, the rest of them, you know what I mean? So, aye, good luck to you, mate. <laughs> well, I will exactly, and that 10 grand, mate, I know it's no fucking good seeing fucking people fraudulently taking money off of folk, uh, but ultimately, ultimately, um, ultimately, 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 see, that's what we need to be doing, man, right on top of them and battering them right yeah. straight the fuck out, man. See, I'm going to hand out controls again, boys, so everybody in the, in the room can go okay. over their avatars and tip these bastards out, man. Um, because they're just going to bombard it again. No, I tried to kick them out, but it didn't work. Well, I think I was ahead of you. I got them, man. I got them, but where are they getting the link from? Uh, I'm sharing it publicly, mate. I'm not letting them put me off, man. You, like, it's All a right. fucking, it's an open hangout for everybody. Fucking, just need to deal with a bit of twats every now and again. Hopefully, they get bored before I do, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean, I think it might be that fat ginger t fucking Irish twat slattery. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I I don't know, man. <laughs> the list, the amount of people that I offend is fucking too long. Um, so the amount of people that might want to fuck us up, I don't know. But uh, I sorry, days, man. I'm fucking completely distracted there, man. I think we're talking about the the cool Britannia bull crap that Tony Blair used on us to manufacture our consent. Um, I was very much caught up in that cool Britannia bull crap, and it's ah uh, voted for the cunt, man. You know what I mean? Absolute snake, you know what I mean? It's but it, it just shows you what, what a psychopath is, you know what I mean? You see that duper's delight in them and that and 
the, the, the Tony Blair Faith Foundation. Utter hypo- he wakes up every day though, and he's, he's a new person to himself. Now, <clears> and it's just, it casts off that, that guilt and all that. It's, it's like water off a duck's dick to him. He does not give a fuck. I mean, well, mate, like put fucking Baker in the same fucking in the sentence of that sitting there going, Yeah, I know I'm a scumbag and all that. Fucking deleting fucking content just because it isn't getting monetized, man. It's mental. I mean, like. Oh, fad. Let's not even go it's, it's, maybe, it's maybe a case of the, the neuropeptides aren't firing correctly in the limbic system or something like that. Uh, it's probably, I don't think they've got the same makeup. You know what I mean? It's like, I think uh, politicians and that should be PET scanned to determine psychopathy. <laughs> People that are in prominent public roles should be on uh, minimum wage, drug tested uh, regularly. Uh, I on 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 a, a basic minimum wage they, they say is fit for the for the public, and but more importantly, pet scan to determine psychopathy. I think these people neurologically they're just not the same. So it's something you really need to keep an eye on. Definitely, mate, definitely. And I notice uh, Kendall's in the room. How are you doing this evening, Kendall? Hi, Kip. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, definitely psychotic days. Definitely psychotic, mate. They need, they need sorting out. <clears throat> What's your take on what's happened, what Trump has just done over in Syria, Kendall? Were they... Oh, he's shown himself up for what he really is, one of them. And uh, now the rest of the world know it. Um, and that's them folk now, isn't it? As, as in, we've wised, wised up so early in your campaign, you know, in your four years. I, I think... Um, there might be a lot in, I mean, one or two of the rumours that were flying around is that, like, oh, the, like, warned him off, told him to sit comfortable, you know, you'll do what you have to do. Other than that, you'll go down like Kennedy. <laughs> uh, very true, Kendall, very true. And uh, I was going to say, like, um, do you see there a kind of... Like, I don't know if the second awakening is the best way to explain it, but do you see people who thought they knew the truth now actually reanalyzing the... Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think most people are reanalyzing it. Me, myself, I, I think I've already analysed it a million times and think, well, yeah, shit, crack on, because I, I, I really do not know. Um, you see, it was weird how, for a period of time, We've all, all, well, since the Scottish uh, independence election, okay, all they've been working on is division, division, division. The Scottish election divided people, brother, sister, do you know what I mean? And then all of a sudden Brexit came along, you've got families fucking divided, um, obviously ethnic groups fucking right left dirty dirt up down left is right right is left so you've got like this whole period of division that's going on and then all of a sudden this conference is called in syria and just before that trump hints to everyone that like he's calming down on the syrian thing perhaps this ain't as bad as people think and yet you know uh, it's like, like he had a major issue with the CIA at the beginning of his presidency. Well, the CIA has been in control of what's going on out there for fucking donkeys, man. Mm. Um, I, I don't know. It's just so blatantly obvious that what the BBC and every, every fucker else has been pumping out front page of the Times is all bullshit. They all know it's bullshit and it's got no foundation to it. And and we're expected, and I mean, it, it, you know, they say the victors write the history. Well, they're writing the history right now because the history is bullshit. Most of the history and prehistory is all fucking bullshit, and they just keep writing the next chapter. Ready? So this is how World War Three started. Oh, we have loads of terrorist incidents on the street. No one in the future university is going to find out that, yeah, all these fucking things were false flag incidents and it, 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 it was the puppet masters and they're lost for fucking dollar, oil, shit. Do you know what I mean? That, that 
you know, the kids of the future are going to learn in about 150 years time that World War Three was started by um, legitimate people when they're not going to be legitimate. So they're right in history right now. And we're supposed to swallow it. I don't know how fucking naive they expect people to be. You know, like uh, anyone who you listen to the radio, the whole thing was controlled, you know, like go from the car to the TV. You know, like we've avoided news like the fucking plague for the last three days because we know exactly what it's going to get bombarded with bollocks. So all we've done is stay with like fucking heartbeat fucking <laughs> darling buds of may anything other than the reality of this fucking world just for a bit of fucking entertainment during the day you know what I mean? like fucking bollocks to it you know well, can, it's all lies man it was, a, it was a good point you brought up there about like uh, we're, we're living through a period of just division uh brexit done it over here the, the, the scottish shit done it up here, <laughs> Brexit done national, um, the, the dividing of the European Union is doing it in Europe, yep. over in America you've got Trump doing it, and in other places of the world this sort of a, um, this feeling is festering as well, and I even remember, and I remember me and you talking about it Kendall, when Brexit, the vote just happened, whereas like they were trying to blame the older generation. They were trying to turn the yep. young people against the old and going, well, it wasn't the young people that voted for the Brexit, it was the fucking old cunts. And it was like, what? The same, mm. way, that, the same way that they're using that, well, Scotland didn't vote for Brexit. Um, these breaking down of fucking figures and demographics yep. to divide people and get them arguing. And, mate, you were right. The, the, there was families genuinely arguing and each other spoke <laughs> over that stuff. It, it's all controlled fakery so that we fall into line and be divided so that just enough people will get a Tory government in again in three years time or two and a half years time just enough when we all know that like anyone who anyone anyone who cares to look into what democracy is all about knows that it's all a fucking scam it, it can't be right I you know there's no ideology on the fucking planet except no ideology and common sense that should run and govern the people. And, and we, well, we all know they're not running it for the people, they're running it, they're running it for themselves. What's that mean? So, it's for the benefit of them and certainly not us. Um, that is yeah, for sure. And, and I, I think because they always use the same ploys, they always provide crap evidence it's got so many fucking holes in it I, I i just think who are the clever ones is it are we are we just totally fucking stupid or are they totally stupid for thinking that they can present it to it this way in a totally stupid way because it's so transparent what's going on in the world right now and i'm sorry you know as, as much as i don't want Bashar al-assad to go well, i think he's fucking it's just a matter of time now because that's what whoever they are won they've managed to do it haven't they this this doesn't um the will of the people does not matter to them at all um so even though they mm. say we've got a democracy um even though they say we've got a democracy it is a democracy scam they, they pretend the will of the people actually means something when in reality it just doesn't all they do is manipulate and bend our will using their magical tricks if you want to even call it that and if if anyone cared to do the research you'll find that there's a document out there somewhere where someone actually i think it was someone from the un took a sample of this gas because everything's got a chemical footprint to it so they can trace it especially if it's something that was made in portman down or what one of these american establishments you know what i mean and they traced it right back to the to the americans and they could even trace the batch and it was a batch that fucking arrived in libya that was signed off by fucking hillary clinton man. Mm, aye. so you know it's like the hypocrisy is so in your face. Yeah. How can you boot? Boot straight out, man. Straight out. But the hypocrisy is so in your face. It, it's um, it's 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 not worth watching. 
<laughs> well, mate, again, like, like, and Ken, do I know you know your stuff inside out, mate? And, and like, we're fools to think we haven't been manipulated or steered over the times. And again, yeah. maybe now are we fucking even naive to think, oh, we've finally realised the truth. But there, there is more and more people now beginning to see that, that, that um, a lot of this information and stuff is pretty much the truther industrial mm-hmm. complex. Uh, and it Boot. doesn't really. James Slattery, man, how many? Is he a fucking. fucking in a children's all, home or something? What do you call American. Circle? They're all American kids. All oh, right, right. Oh, it must be 4chan or something then. Maybe just been stuck up in 4chan or something, who knows. Um, but I, I kind of like. N- now I feel more people are realising that the, maybe the information vortex that they fell into on in the internet, thinking they were getting somewhere, was nothing more than a vortex to yeah. keep them where they were. Yeah, see, the, the, I'm going to do a frank on you. If they're prepared to tell us a ginormous lie historically, which there is enough evidence for, okay, in this country. If they're prepared to keep that gigantic lie a secret from you and, and avoid avoid telling the truth and, and everything, it, all I'm talking about, it, again, is the fact that if they're prepared to lie about the fact that there's enough evidence to say that sometime before BC, around 500 BC, the 12 tribes of Israel settled in, in what? In Wales, I'm not going to say Great Britain, I'm going to say what we would know as the British Isles. Okay, there's enough archaeological evidence to back my statement. So, if people have cared to look for it, and it's as though we don't fucking exist. See, I don't feel Anglo Saxon, I don't feel Celtic, I don't feel anything else, you know, other than British or, or a Britain. And I'm sick and tired of the, if they're prepared, Frank, glad you're in, right? If they're prepared to lie to me about that from when I was a child and, and I've found them out for what they are, then there's seriously something been going wrong with this country. Not, not in my lifetime, not even in my dad or my great grandfather's fucking lifetime. This has been one big like hook for generations, man. And and the evidence and the proof, if you join the dots, read all the Carol, well, read at least two of the Carol Quigley books, it takes a lifetime to read one of them. But you just know that it's stitched and we continue to be stitched and it's all for money. $1.3 million a shot, 60 the bastards sent out. And me, you're... You were saying that you feel invisible and stuff, and I think a lot of us feel that way because you yeah. just feel that you you don't have a voice in the way, in the world that you that, that you see around yeah. you, and yeah. and I think that's illustrated with what happened in this country this week with a woman forced to vaccinate her two children. Now, yeah. like all these stories, the, the devil's in the detail. You need to go and study it because there was another partner saying that she was obsessive and stuff. So it isn't just as clear cut and dry. But it does go to demonstrate <laughs> we do have owners. You can go into court and the court will order you to do things to your children that you completely oppose and think it is, genuinely believe it's bad for their health, but the court will outvote you and overrule you and um, yeah. treat their belongings what, 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 the way they want. I think what's happened to those kids is they've all been now taken off into care. So neither fucking parent for creating all the fuss and the, and the ruckus about it neither parent get to enjoy their kids because a, a kind of mental health thing on her because she abducted her own two kids lost the plot and fucking disappeared you know black she dyed her hair because she was blonde and then she went dark do you know what i mean the kids got their hair dyed did you know you're a crazy nut, nut freak if you're doing that well no <laughs> Uh, um, Jim, I like you're talking through all days. <laughs> You've caught the Dalek bug, I think, Dees. No, man. 
Um, I noticed <laughs> I noticed Cookie wasn't able to get back in the fucking room as well. I don't know if I accidentally fucking kicked him, but I don't think so. Um, I did kick somebody that was called Cookie, but it didn't look like the real Cookie, but I don't know. I need to fucking sort that out later. <laughs> Cookie's on the naughty step tonight. <laughs> same, mate. It's kind of the same sound in that Martin's was earlier on. It's that kind of breaking up thing. <laughs> well, I think what I'm going to do, man, is uh, like I'm going to go down the, the the go down the hangout, see if anybody's got anything else they want to get off their chest uh, tonight, and then I'll wrap it up. And we've touched on a good few bases and stuff, and the <laughs> the technical problems of this is doing my tits in, man. I'm going to cry myself to sleep in my bed. <laughs> um, so, uh, blazing in the evening, buddy. How you doing? Anything you want to say before we fire off I'm live? Doing fi- I'm doing fine, mate. Nice one. And you want to bring up at all, mate? That's just a wee question I wrote down. Wrote down a question tonight, first time. <laughs> <laughs> Impresses. Because I'll, I'll forget, because I've got a huge lot of sieve. So what's the question? Because I'm in one ear and the other. <laughs> it's, it's like, do you think America will be attacked now? Uh, we are lone wolves. Oh, like more terror attacks and stuff? Aye. Uh, uh, like trucks. Fuck knows, man. Fuck knows. I oh, don't know. Never even thought about it. I thought you were meaning like Jink Russia's going to strike America. Um, I don't know, mate. Um, I, 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 I think what, like worldwide we're going to fucking notice an uptick. Or just like... Every couple of days, there's going to be a new one of these things. It's, uh, they're going to constantly keep jabbing you with the bullshit, keep you off balance. You're not going to have time to process and digest one thing before they're hitting you with another. Um, <laughs> and with all the shit that's going on, any, any terror event can pop up anywhere and it'll just go ISIS. In fact, in fact, fucking hell. Um, re- a couple hours before we went live, there was a big mass stabbing over in Los Angeles. I didn't really get a caught much of the details um, and I was just reading some of the comments under it and one of the comments stood out was like please be Muslim please be Muslim please be Muslim that's that's the way they've that's the way they've got everybody pre-programmed so I don't know what what the hell happened over in Los Angeles it was a mass stabbing one man arrested I wasn't watching the news myself um, so I don't know I was I don't watching know. other things I didn't catch your latest uh, so maybe- it could be happening could be, man. Could be. Uh, okay. Uh, hold on. I'd boot that one. Uh, Team Rooster. This seems suspicious to me. Hi, <laughs> mate. <laughs> Jobs are good, Jin. So, thanks, Blazing. Martin, what about yourself, buddy? Anything you want to get off your chest before we fire off live, mate? Uh, I'm a coming through alright. I'm going to die, like. A wee teeny bit, mate. If you persevere, I think uh, people can uh, understand you. <laughs> And uh, yeah. Elusive, uh, make sure you check out um, Martin in the chat uh, as well. Uh, elusive Exposure, hopefully he's been in the chat. Check out his channel and all the latest updates that Martin's doing as well. So, uh, Ed, you want to say Martin at all? Uh, yeah, just with this whole Trump thing, really. Um, I, I've seen it coming, you know, the, the degradation of the alternate media and how everyone's sort of pushing him and stuff. I mean, we could get into the whole thing about what he is and this, that, and the other, but I think most people listening. Um, and then the sort of people watch your channel are pretty switched on these days to what's going on. And like you said, I'm seeing some kind of second, third, fourth, whatever, awakening. And that's something that I went through myself. Um, you know, back in the early days, I thought InfoWars was the bee's knees and this is the resistance and you know, this, that, and the other. And it's quite uplifting you know, when you first get into that stuff to have some sort of jackboot guy there to look up to. and. And everybody, they all become like idols and celebrities within their own movements and stuff, and people kind of latch onto it. Um, but I'd just say to sort of round off, people don't have idols and celebrities, think for yourselves, do your own research, make your own mind up, and let's face it, I mean, it's, it's really within your own community, isn't it, where the change comes. So you can speak to people in the real world. and. Uh, and it's a video or you know whatever sort of information you can and just try and change things like that well thanks for that martin sorry like hopefully people would have been able to make out uh, what you what you were saying there and stuff um sorry about the dalek and stuff but martin thanks for joining me and uh thanks for the also the information as well it's always really good to touch base with people that have been involved in these large networks 
Um, especially if they're willing to be open and honest about it, and like, like, so people are aware of what goes on behind closed doors. I mean, surely one of the biggest things that a lot of people come into this is like transparency, openness, openness, and honesty. <laughs> and then you don't get that in the truth media that turns on the fucking radio and tries to like um, tell everybody that's fucking the way to go. Um, so thanks for joining, Martin. Everybody, check out Martin's channel. In the evening, Jamesy boy, how are you doing this evening, mate? Just need to unmute yourself, but then you're all good. Are you with us, Jamesy boy? Yeah. Oh, how are you doing? Give me, I. I, um, I, mate. All good. How are you keeping? Not bad, mate. Um, so I don't know if you get any take on anything you want to say about the old Trump factor, mate. I think, <laughs> as as you know, what I'm, what I'm going to say, it's all been said. <laughs> <laughs> you can't really elaborate on what everybody else is saying, no? it's, it is what it is, and people are too stupid to see it, uh, not to see it. Still, Alex Jones still out there defending Trump? Crazy. Yeah. Absolute crazy. Um, well, thanks for joining, Jamesy boy, and hang around for the after chat as always, man. Uh, Alright, John, good, John, how you doing, my man? Meet with us, John. Just need to unmute, buddy, and you'll be in the room. He's sleeping. <laughs> He's on his side. Not me, not me. How you doing, John? All right, man. Uh, how you keep? How you keeping, buddy? All right. Um, good, good. Nice good. one, man. Um, so, anything you want to before uh, we fire off live or anything, mate? Do you want to say anything about the old Trump factor or anything? Um, no. <laughs> I've got something to say though. Hi, Barry, man. Don't drink Coca Cola. Like boycott the bullcrappers. Essentially, yeah. You know, just do what's good for you. Do what's good for you. What's what's what keeps you healthy and happy. That's all that matters. Fuck Donald Trump. Nah, aye. Yes. Concentrate on yourself and your own life and stuff. Aye. Yeah. Try and not let it get you down. Yeah. <laughs> Even um. You see the bigger. What I, with, 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 it's, it, I, I think you said it today about Alex Jones and, and Trump and, and now, you know, the, the cruise missiles and everyone who's jumping on that bandwagon is, it's, you know, there's, there's, there's no friends on either side of it, is there really? So you've got, you've got to look after number one. Hey, you're getting lied to for all angles today, <laughs> for fucking sure. <laughs> Um, I, the, 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 the key is, is even in alternative media, it's still media, and, and media is 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 hearsay, isn't it? At best, it's theater production most of the time. <laughs> Some sort of a presentation of information. Here, like the majority of the time, it is agenda driven and whatnot. Um, yeah, yeah. So anything else you want to say, John? Make sure you hang around for the after chat, buddy. Oh, cheers, man. And uh, Frank, how you doing, mate? In the evening, buddy. Is your internet holding up? Hello. In the evening, mate. How you doing? All good. Nice one, man. Um, I, I agree. With, I agree with John. Follow, follow your path. Listen to your heart. Your heart. Stay away from the Coca Cola and Trump. <laughs> Don't consent. And as Murph says, take your ball back. <laughs> You're damn right. It's the best way I've ever heard it put. Take, take your ball back. We're not playing. Can you see Trump now for who Trump is? Can you see Theresa May who Theresa May is? Yay! Who can see? <laughs> can you see it now? You uh, can see. People that are denying it. Have you done it? People that are still trying to deny it are in denial. <laughs> they are not the solution you're looking for. Well, they're, they're, they're nailing their, their proverbial uh, colours to their mast, aren't they? All of them. Once again, you've been sold down the river. <laughs> Exactly, Frank. Yeah. And, exactly. And, and, it's, 
and it's not nice because none of us like uh, none of us like having the wall pulled over our eyes, do we? No one likes being yeah. lied to, and that's exactly. I, I agree with you, John, as well about the media. The, the, it, <laughs> it's it's like you know, it's not cannons to the left, cannons to the right. It's lies to the left, lies to the right. Even, lies uh, in front of you, lies behind you. I mean, to me, to me, it's like uh, uh, history is, is, is history in the repeating of history seems to be speeding up. Can you not see how this is like a replay of Saddam Hussein? Yeah. You know, they're, they're even, they've even got to a point where they're, they're spinning you the same story. And they can't even make up new stories to fucking sell you the war. Yeah, well, again, again, in, in, in on itself, that's quite sad because they're spinning you the same lie in a relatively short space of time. It's crazy you know, how they get away with it. How, how, is, has there not been enough bloodshed in the Middle East? I think next week CNN are coming out with an expose that they found um, death camps inside Syria and and. <laughs> <laughs> They've been killing six million fucking people. <laughs> they don't have to do much, do they? Because the media does it for them. Yeah, cool. You know, look, look at the London episode and, and 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 just just look and see what actually transcribes from that one little incident. You know, the the, the media they, they 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 just. They, I have a lot of things to talk about, but I decided to focus on it, one thing. They make it up. They lie, they yeah, propagate it, and they rhyme and repeat it, rhyme and repeat it, rhyme and repeat it. You know, eight out of ten people that I meet are, gen are genuinely nice people. For that. Like, mo the majority of people I meet in my everyday life are just That's nice not people. people. John, I, again, I agree with you, mate. The, the average person on this planet wants to yeah. live a uh, a life where they provide for their families, they provide a shelter and food. We're talking about the one percent of the psychopaths who are that it's it, it's it's insane. It's like they treat the world like an uh, uh, playground. We've got psychopaths and narcissists. Yeah, the children. Who, who, okay. I mean, you're right. Psychopaths and narcissists everywhere, and it's like, I would even say it's less than the one percent of the population out there. Um, yeah. So, although it's important to understand, well, I don't know. I mean, although some people might think it's important to understand the world changing and what's going on and stuff, to, to hopefully so you can have an effect or even at least be a wee bit prepared about the world changing around you. Um, it's like, like um, you, you need to look after yourself first and foremost and get yourself on a steady footing. Uh, you can't help anybody else if you can't help yourself first and foremost and get shit sorted um, in, in your own life and stuff. Um, I mean, like, I've even spoken in the past about like, a lot of people that bounce into this information. A, a lot of the times it's through some sort of a traumatic event which has made them question the, question the reality they believed beforehand. Um, and it's like people can end up like you can vulnerable people come into this information at a very critical time, and their head can get filled up with shit. So it's it's critical to remain loyal to yourself, get your your own shit straight, and um, concentrate on like I don't know why. Don't never neglect your own problems. Trying to solve the world's problems. It's about a balance, about everything, and getting your own shit straight and your own health straight is. One of the most important things out there, definitely. You can't fight anything if you're not f fit to fight. Um, so, guys, is there anything else anybody want to say before we fire off? Uh, reality chat, Peter. Do you want to say anything at all, mate? Before we uh, fire off? Thanks, thanks for doing it, Kip. Uh, and it was a um, yeah. You handled everything well this evening. Well done, mate. Oh, and good chat. Well. We got we, we all got our say, uh, regardless of the interruptions. But we'll carry on and continue as we always do. So. No nice one, and thanks to everybody else as well. 
Well, thanks everybody. Welcome to David. Peter, Frank, Days, Kendo, John, James, Martin, and Blaze, and stick around for the after chat. Um, I, 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 cookies banned from this, so I might open up a new one or a Skype call or some bull crap, but we'll sort something out. And if there is a new link, I'll drop it in below. So anybody want to join the chat after, feel free. So thanks for watching, everybody. I know it's been a bit clunky and whatnot, but. Uh, no, I've got to roll with it. So I'll say hi to everybody in the chat room. Uh, Lady Aussie Scotch, how you doing? Uh, Quishy Gif, how you doing, my man? Morton, committed escaper. Uh, Cookie, oh my god, what the fuck? How you all doing? Um, Scottish Ross. Uh, there was that Team Rooster douchebag, committed escaper. John Welsh, Gas Mask, uh, another lovely day. In the evening, uh, Morton, I know there's Sims and Sorrow, is that that gun that was kept coming in, Rapid Man, oh, lots of new names. I'd love to think that we're all here for the content, but we fucking think they're here for other reasons. But anyway, Billy J, Rebecca Bart, Bradley, Morton, thanks to everybody that has joined for the right reasons. Days was in the chat earlier, um, Scottish Ross. Billy J, oh my god, and Martin was in as well. So hopefully I've managed to say hi to everybody. If I've left you out, you're definitely in the Illuminati. Um, thanks to everybody in the chat. Thanks to everybody that has watched, will watch. Feel free to stick a wee thumbs up if you do appreciate um, See Through the Fear Porn Friday. <laughs> sometimes good, sometimes bad, sometimes shit, who knows. But you need to take the good with the bad. And tonight has only been smooth as normal, but... Yeah, hopefully it's been all right. So thumbs up, share on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. Thanks to everybody that has watched, will watch, so on and so forth. Um, tomorrow night is the the mystery show. Um, I'll hopefully, if I'm around, share that on the community page. If I'm not around, hopefully somebody else will share it, and you can get the link for all the other hangouts there. And anybody want to join after the fact, uh, try and use the link below the uh, below. And if it's working and there's space, feel free. To join. Alrighty, YouTube, thanks for listening. Catchies! It's a fear ball, fear ball, it's a fear ball, fear ball, it's a fear ball, fear ball, come on. In the race, and those peasants in the days like a hip hop on the a real ball. I came on. Keeps clear.